Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to City Championship Wrestling. I'm your host. I know you know who I am. I'm Johnny Cool. That's Johnny with a J, Cool with a K. See, it has J here and a K here. Sometimes there's an F for JFK, but I can't tell you what the F stands for. My guest tonight, he comes from the country of Albania. He's the Albanian assassin, Andre Kabashi. Oh, Johnny Cool, my favorite rutkar in all of America. How are you doing? Uh, I'm cool, man. I'm always cool. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. It seems like you brought somebody with you. This big man right here is the plan B. J. Abrams. J. Abrams. Okay, well... You were in the uh, first ever Centerline Independence Tournament, and um, you attacked Freedom Ramsey, and it seems like you were trying to get yourself an advantage. Well, first of all, I attacked Freedom Ramsey because he was going at my plan B, Jay Abrams, and this is what friends do. It's not just a business relationship. He's a very good friend of mine, and so what I did was I stuck up for a friend. Maybe you guys do things different here in Detroit, Michigan, but... Albanians, we take care of our friends. Well, let's, let's look at the tournament bracket. Uh, you paid off your first match, which is, I've, I've never seen that before. And, um, well, let's look at the tape with your opponent. And what happened here was, you, you call it paying off a guy, you call it being underhanded. I call this an act of mercy. Not only did I save this guy in hospital bills, because God knows he would have been in ICU two or three weeks, I actually gave him money, probably more than he's ever seen in his lifetime. I, I got to be honest, you know, he doesn't look like a neurosurgeon part time. So I gave him more money than he's ever seen before, and it's, something like that's hard to turn down, especially for an American. An old, old wise Albanian man named Jadoshi once told me, "You give an American money, they're gonna do anything that you have them do." I don't know about that, Andre. I've never seen this before. Just pay a guy off, not even wrestle. You know, this. we just looked at the brackets, and um, uh, Freedom Ramsey got the victory over your friend over here, Jay Abrams. So it seems like you were trying to uh, save yourself and trying to gain some kind of advantage. Look, there's no advantage to be gained. I could have took this guy out one minute tops. And that's if I was feeling lazy. And Freedom, first of all, he got lucky when he took out Plan B, J. Abrams. Okay, but see, see, this, this is a smart guy. I have to respect him for that. Look at that. He took the money. He's walking away. He knew, like, okay, I got to live to fight another day. Maybe I'll fight some American guy who won't put me in the hospital. Well, yeah, he. I mean, he took the money and he left. I mean, I, I guess I can't blame a guy for that. But that definitely wasn't cool. All I saw was my hand being raised. And if that's not cool, then Johnny, you got a lot of problems. Maybe you should change your name to Johnny Rutkari, because Johnny Cool, you don't know nothing about cool. I, I, I don't understand what you're saying. Like, uh, is that, what, what language is that? I mean, we speak English here in the United States of America. Oy, 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 Johnny, you bring this English stuff to me one more time. I'm going to be knocking that toupee off your head. So please, let's just focus on what happened June 6th. Well, you advanced, and your next match was against... Freedom Ramsey, which you clearly interfered, and you tried to hurt him. You hurt his back, and obviously it was an attempt by you to, you know, hurt him enough so you can have an advantage in your match. Johnny, I hurt people sometimes before our matches. I definitely hurt them during, and sometimes I hurt them after. So to me, it makes no difference if that bell is ringing or not. I just like to hurt people at the end of the day. Well, let's take a look back at your match with Freedom Ramsey. We didn't know if Freedom Ramsey was going to be able to continue because of your attack on him. Well, first of all, I, I didn't know Freedom was spelled F-R-E-E-D-U-M-B. I thought this guy had some brains, so I assumed there was no way he was coming out with his back like that. He was walking around like a chicha. Obviously, they must have done something. to injected him with something. Well, yeah, at this point, I think all the fans are just wondering after... UNJ Abrams hurt his back if, if he'll be able to continue and the ref is about ready to start the count here. Which was the slowest count ever. That ref 
if he ever works in CCW again, we're going to have some big time problems because he needed to be counting faster than this. He gave Freedom way too much time to get in the ring. Well, you're, it seems like you're prematurely thinking that you're just going to win this match and without even knowing if he's going to come out or not. I mean, how, how, how do you do that, Andre? You purposely tried to hurt the man, and here he comes. You weren't able to stop him. You know, just watching him walk out makes me angry all over again. And number one, he didn't even get into the ring. The referee should have counted 10 right there. This guy wants to go high-five with fans, do all this nonsense, holding his back. Look, let me tell you something. They had to have put something in him for him to be walking around like that because I know Jay and I did some work. Well, I don't know about that. The man clearly looks hurt. And uh, none of us knew if he was even able to continue. But yeah, compare that to me. We both had a match. He's walking out like a chicha. I'm looking like a sokod. Like the number one peak Sokoli. They should have called me Sokoli Kabashi, actually, is how much of a Sokoli I am. Andre, I, I don't know what you're saying. You're going to have to translate for us Americans because this is the United States of America. Uh, something that doesn't need translation is what you're about to see right here. Oh, you just sneak attack him here. I mean, come on, Andre. If you turn your back on your opponent in the ring, you aren't very bright. And he seems to be looking at me here when I'm giving him these forearms. Well, you guys clearly tried to end the man's career. I mean, I don't blame him for trying to yeah. come out here. And we would have been doing him a favor. He's better off working at Metro PCS than as a professional wrestler. Let me tell you that right now. Well, those are strong words. And you can see Freedom Ramsey here trying to fight back. But you clearly got the upper hand. And you're working on his back. That's what a smart wrestler would do. And, if, and the one thing I am is the smartest man in pro wrestling. I can tell you that right now. Well, what is the country of Albania, bringing the country of Albania here to the United States of America, what does that mean for everyone else? It means literally this. It means getting your gut stomped out by an Albanian, by a real man. And you're really putting the boots to him here. Yeah, the ref, I, I, come, I come on. The ref's trying to break it up here, Andre. you got to follow the rules sometime. What rules? What? <laughs> yeah. Rules. Oh, that's, oh, the, oh, he, he got, oh. He's really hammering away there with those fists of freedom, he calls them. Yeah, yeah, I took him right down. And let me tell you something. He, he probably loaded his fist with something because that's why the referee pulled me away. I'm pretty sure him and freedom, they've been in cahoots. I can guarantee that. Well, I don't know about that. I think the referee's doing an excellent job. But here you drop an elbow on him, and you clearly have the advantage. I mean... Nobody knows. Nobody knew whether or not Andre could even wrestle in this match, and oh, you're completely we dominating. Andre could wrestle because he's kicking ass right now. I'm pretty sure it's Freedom you're confused about. Right, Freedom Ramsey. Oh, yeah, right, right. Okay, Johnny. Well, you clearly have the advantage right now over Freedom Ramsey, and Another that's a two count. count. Another slow count by this referee. What is he doing? Well, I think he's doing a fantastic job. I, th I, I thought that was a legitimate two count. Right now, Freedom is just trying, trying Look at hard that big to smile get smile on Jay Abrams' face. I put it, you know what? Not a lot of people know this, but I put it in his application to be an Albanian citizen. Not a lot of people know that. Uh, an Albanian citizen? In a bad mood. See, I was in a good mood talking about Jay being an Albanian citizen. But seeing this, seeing that big boot, that pisses me off. Oh, well, God Freedom, shit. Freedom's got the momentum now. Oh, big clothesline. Oh, another big clothesline. Uh, uh, re relax, they aren't that big. First of all, I was even, he just had me distracted. And, uh, good night. Oh, good night. smashing your head into the canvas. Oh, Freedom Ramsey, oh, he's clearly got the advantage here. Oh, two count. Well, what what is this? What is this citizenship stuff? Don't you have to be Albanian to be a citizen? First of all, he earned his citizenship in this match. And, and this referee, for, this referee, not only is freedom making me angry, this referee is really upsetting me. Why is he getting into a fight with me? And not only that, he's counting one, two. Well, there was clear outside interference by Jay Abrams. Clear. And Jay Abrams made the mistake of leaving his hat inside the ring which the ref clearly saw clearly it's a disqualification when have you ever heard of a man being disqualified for having a hat in the ring I've, I've never seen that once in all the years of professional wrestling but I get screwed like this well Freedom Ramsey he gets the victory I mean he won he won his match oh, yeah, yeah definitely oh yeah you know I mean your you're soon to be Albanian citizen friend Jay Abrams he made the mistake of leaving a hat in the ring and now you lost the match 
Ladies and gentlemen, you saw the disqualification. Andre Kabashi, it looks like your plan didn't work. Freedom Ramsey, I hope you saw what I just did right there. I saved Johnny Cool from six months in a wrestling. Guess what? You're not going to be that lucky. August 27th. June 6th, you show me the kind of man you are. Well, August 27th, Biff Ayote, I'm going to take it. And we'll come to you, Shimoto Natoku I swear to God, Freedom. I'm going to take you in there. I'm going to show you what it's like. And I promise you, you're never going to want to step in the ring again with anybody who has even visited Albania, let alone an actual Albanian. Jay Abrams, do you have anything to say? I guess not. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it. Andre Kabashi calling out Freedom Ramsey. We'll be back with more Johnny Cool right after these messages. something in the trunk, Walter. There is nothing out there, Grandma Rose. It's just a cemetery, remember? My brains are fine. I saw somebody. Welcome back to City Championship Wrestling. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, City Championship Wrestling. August 27th, Lands Cruz High School, located in Harrison Township, Michigan. Watch us live, where you'll get to see me, Johnny Cool. I'll be signing autographs. All the ladies want the autographs. You'll get to see Andre Kabashi, Jay Abrams, The Purge, and many others. This is Johnny Cool. Signing out, be cool.